Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone My name is Muhammad Fakri bin Muhammad Afandi I'm from class Band 2B My matrix number is 055615 Hello, my name is Muhammad Afandi Ihsan bin Ahmad Yusham Matrix number 056171 So today me and my partner uh, Arfan Ihsan will present to you about Kelantan So first, before we get deeper into our topic, I want to introduce to you about Kelantan or known as Kelate. So, Kelantan is located in the northeastern corner of Malaysia Peninsula. The Kelantan state is made up of 11 districts which are Kota Baru, Bacok, Pasir Mas, Pasir Putih, Tumpat, Tanah Merah, Kuala Krai, Majang, Kumusan, Jeli and Lojing. So, uh, just like any other state, Kelantan also has its own honorific name, which is Darul Naim, or known as the Blissful Abort. The Kelantanese speak a very unique language, which are the Kelantanese Malay. So, first, I will talk to you about the religious, the religious or the cultural festivals that. In, uh, that is unique in Kelantan. The festival that is most important to Kelantan is Kelantan International World Festival. So, uh, why this festival is really important to Kelantan? As we all know, wow or layang layang is really synonym to Kelantan. Wow Bulan is the most famous wow of all wow design. So why uh, Kelantan government uh, made this kind of festival? First, to ensure that the kite flying tradition will not disappear. Second, to ensure that the younger generation will inherit this tradition and promote wow to the eyes of tourists locally or globally. In other stated, like uh, Kuala Lumpur, Melaka, or Johor, Wow is most known as Layang Layang. That's all from now me. Now I will be explaining about Kelantan's selection of food and Kelantan's selection of game. So first up, I'll explain to all of you about um, Kelantan's selection of food. You see, when talking about Kelantan's food, I would imagine that um, people see when people see or hear about um, this food they are immediately associate it with Cantonese and that food is none other than budu so budu is basically an anchovy sauce that has been uplifted in to be one of Malaysia's traditional food People in Kelantan add these add this sauce to their dishes to add flavor. As for taste, I can describe it as having this tangy and spicy taste. I imagine it to be a taste in which I believe suitable with um, our Malaysian tongue. It is also said that budu can help um, with the human digestive system. Uh, I've read that um, it has vitamins that helps people the, um, with chronic diarrhea and it also um, helps pr producing um, red blood cells. So other than um, being a basic anchovy sauce, it is it can also be considered as a medicine to others. Although so, Budu also has its cons, where um, it has this quite deceiving um, smell, which may be the reason as to why people avoid tasting. Next is Kelantan's traditional game, which is the Gasin. It is a game of two or more spinning tops battling out to be the last one standing. 
it is a game that requires durability and stability of the top and you see people back then um, they actually handcraft their tops can you imagine how hard and a long what long process it could have been to actually make the perfect top there are also um, different ways to play uh, the gussing to name a few are gussing uri and gussing pankah in gussing uri um, it is more of an individual game um, because the rules are quite simple um, the last top or gussing spinning wins the game meanwhile in gussing pankah um, you need to strike your opponent's top to make them fall down in order to win the game. I believe that it, the Gassing Pankah is more exciting than the Gassing Uri, but uh, nonetheless, I think the Gassing is a very cool game. In conclusion, um, Klantan is, I believe, is a very unique state. Um, that has so many varieties of tradition and cultures that has been formed by the many um, races that live there. So I believe that is all from us. Thank you.